Hey, welcome everyone. Pat Mitchell here with Fallout Shelter, episode two. I've got a little bit of a different, uh, different uh, podcast that I want to do here tonight. I just want to riff a little bit. I want to talk about a few things. Actually, there's two things. One thing is definitely going to come off a little self-serving at the beginning, but just please listen to where it goes. Uh, there is a point to it. But the first thing that I want to talk about is um, I want to talk... Most of you that are watching this are in the demographic, the age demographic or of 30 years plus. So 30s, 40s, 50s, maybe even a little bit older. And yes, I'm sure that there are some 20s, 20 year olds and even a little bit younger as well that watch this. But for the most part, the main bulk of my audience, they're in their 30s and 40s and maybe 50s. Now, the, the thing that gets me is um, each and every one of you have attended uh, some level of education, whether it be high school or post-secondary. And in high school especially, and junior high and elementary and everything else, you had, uh, you had history class, right? So a lot of people should be educated in history. And the one thing that gets me about, about history is there's a saying that gets thrown around a lot right now, especially in the past few years, of you're on the wrong side of history, man. And you know what? There's a lot of people that are. And let me explain why. It, there's, there's so many things that have happened that people are so afraid to talk about and people have already forgotten about. And that's the crazy thing. There's lots of people out there that have already forgotten some of the bullshit that has happened over the past few years. Now, I'm not getting too much into that. But what I wanted, what I do want to talk about, and I, I think the over, the underlying reason why people are doing that and, and, and why they just like, they choose the path of least resistance is fear. Now, Fear translates into your day trading as well. That's the number one reason why people struggle for as long as they do, right, is fear. And I think everything, not just that, but everything, one of, like every issue that you could possibly have would stem from fear. Fear of losing, fear of rejection, fear of all of that, right? So the, the one thing that I never want people to forget, because we are approaching uh, Christmas in a couple of weeks, so it wasn't that long ago that during Christmas, and for some of us, that was our loved ones, whether it be your grandparents, great grandparents, or even parents, that was their last Christmas, right? You know what, you know the timeline I'm talking about. And there's people out there that ratted out their fucking neighbors. They ratted out their neighbors so that they could get a $50 gift certificate to God knows what, what, whatever the government was fucking offering them. And they took it. They actually took it. And that's one thing I don't want anybody to ever forget. This sense of community has completely, it's, it's gone, it's lost, right? Now, one of the beautiful things about living down here in Costa Rica is I get a bird's eye view, okay? I'm on the outside looking in. It's very easy for us, the, the expats or people that live down here that used to live up north can see that, right? We can see that very easily. And there's a lot that can't see it because they're in it. They're just in it, man. And I, I think it does. I, I think it boils down and stems from fear. But if you want to be fearful and afraid, then that's, that, that's your own thing. But don't project that fear onto others, like to take away people's last Christmas or even a Christmas, it doesn't even matter if it's their fucking last Christmas, was crazy for people visiting their families. And the one thing that really like turns my stomach, there's, there's a lot of people out there that they actually, they, they listened to that warning and they followed those rules and they didn't go and have a Christmas that year. Why? Why are you so fucking afraid? That's something that people really need to start working on because that is one of the reasons why there's so many people out there that fucking struggle. There's so many strugglers out there. They struggle with one thing or another. They, they dream of success and all this, but that's one thing that they're lacking. They don't have that fuck you attitude and mentality where it's like, I'm going to get that at all costs, but they're afraid. So they follow the rules. Like I've always said, Rules are for people that do not know what the fuck they're doing. Quote that shit. Write it down because that is facts. I think fear, you can see it all over social media as well, right? 
I'll, I'll give you an example. So this morning, scrolling through Twitter X and an old SpaceX or a, a SpaceX post uh, was up and it was from a uh, launch in 2021. It was their one of their first re-entries uh, to set back down and it failed. It was their first launch. The odds are it's not going to work. In fact, that's not the main objective of that. They weren't looking for it to land. It's so that they can gauge the numbers and adjust the numbers. It's a game of chess, right? Well, if you read the comments of that post, you see these mouth breathers out there just rooting for it for, to fail and loving that it failed. Why? Well, it's fear. That's what it is. They're fearful that someone will be better than them and then they can then not take a look at themselves and feel good about themselves. And that's what it boils down to. And it's a crazy way of living. Do you not want everyone to succeed? You know, and there's people out there that just like, they always look for any excuse, right? Oh, the white man did this or the black man did this. Who fucking cares what color you are? It's got nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter where you were brought up, whether you came from something or came from nothing. Everybody has equal chances in this world. And if you think otherwise, you'd, you're full of shit. You're lying to yourself. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you'll see people, guaranteed that I said that, you'll have people talk about like, oh, white privilege, he doesn't get it. Fuck that, I do get it. I don't come from anything. I don't come from anything. I was able to do it. So, so what's your fucking excuse? What, the color of your skin is your excuse? It's ridiculous. Or you're a woman or you're a man or whatever the fucking, whatever the excuse is, excuses are excuses. A successful person will never allow excuses to get in their way, no matter what. They take ownership of their life and they go full tilt towards their objective. That's it, plain and simple. So when you see people rooting for others to fail, and like I said at the beginning of this about history, there are a lot of people on the wrong side of history. We've already been shown things not to repeat, but yet we, re we choose to repeat them. Why? Because you're soft. That's why. You're afraid of confrontation. Fear. What is the worst that's going to happen? You know, people are so afraid to like fight for something anymore, to speak up about something. Well, what if they, what if they take away my social media? Who fucking cares? Who cares? You know, it's just like, I don't understand. And there's so many people that have already forgotten what has happened just a very short time ago, guys. It's even hard to remember what it was like pre three years ago. It seems so far away and all of that could have been stopped. And it's amazing because I do a lot of traveling. I, lot, I see a lot of people with those fucking, those diapers on their fucking faces. Now we're afraid of catching a cold because that's all it was. And for any of you that say differently, you need to properly go do some fucking research and realize what that was. And the cure was far worse, far worse. And if you think I'm wrong about that, you're misinformed. All of that data, all of those numbers are out there. Go take a look for yourself. And don't quote me on uh, CNN and all of the mainstream media. Media, government, banks, pharmaceutical companies, big business. If you think anything is legit coming from any of those groups, you're fucked. You know... The next thing I wanted to talk about is, and again, it's going to, this is, this is the part that I was talking about at the beginning where it's going to sound self-serving. Just hang tight. 
So Chrissy and I, we donated to a school in need down here and we threw them a big Christmas party. Now you have to remember, uh, there's some people down here that have absolutely nothing. And um, the ability to, to have those kids like have like one really good day is pretty cool. Now originally, and I'm gonna be honest with you, that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to give a bigger donation and um, actually help out with books and school uniforms and lunches for the year or whatever it was and do a bunch of stuff like that. Something that was a little more long lasting. But the person that we went through um, decided that a party would be best. And that's fine. That's cool. And I got the pictures and I won't bore you guys with the pictures, but I did post them if you follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. I posted some pictures and it's pretty cool. But I, I do think that we could have done a lot better and next time I'll do a lot better. Um, but the, the main point of this is, now I was given all the receipts. I'm not going to be putting that in for tax purposes. See, a lot of people out there, they'll do things. They'll, they'll do something as long as it's a, it's a benefit to them. Now, you'll see these people that pipe up all the time and talk about how much they give to charity and this and that. They're not giving to charity. What they're getting is a tax receipt, and that's it. I've never once, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I swear on any, everything and anything. I have never once taken anything I have given, charities, and we've done a lot of donations through the years, and a lot of stuff like, like what we just did, we've never submitted that in for taxes. I don't want any part of that. So what I'm getting at is you'll, there's a lot of phonies out there, right? There's a lot of phonies and it's fucked up. And I think for once it would be nice if people recognized the phony, the phony ones out there and just, you got to stop interacting with people like that, man. Right? Like you see people out there and people that know me and go back a long ways. There's probably an old follow shelter podcast where I'm like going on and on and on about Oprah. And I've said for years, she's a fucking antichrist, man. And I don't mean that literally. I'm just saying like she's not a good person. She's not a good person at all. She's a bad person. It's because people get misguided because of what she gives to charity. It's all for tax purposes, guys. Even what happened in Maui when her and The Rock started up that, that bullshit do the charity. That's for tax purposes only, guys. That's it. It's like, what happened to the real motherfuckers out there that just do things out of the goodness of the heart with no, there's no upside for them? What happened to that? Why can't we just do for the sake of doing? You know, I've always said, if, if I ever get into a position to help, I will do it. And I don't talk about it a lot because it does come off self-serving, right? So again, that's not why I'm bringing it up. I do shit like this all the time. You know, as I've talked about before, I've had members um, that have needed help uh, paying their mortgages. I've had members uh, needing help uh, paying their bills and this and that, and I've done it. The fucked up thing is each and every one of those people that needed help, they'll soon forget. So I guess the, the biggest lesson if you're ever in a position to help, make sure it's to the right people. People that are actually in need. Not just because they're fucking lazy and don't want to get off their cunts and go to work. Don't help those people. Never help those people. There's a lot of entitled fucks out there that'll go around and they'll, they'll hitch their... Um, their wagon to someone that is successful and they'll ride their coattails. And there's 
There's a lot of them out there. You want people that are in, it's a mutual relationship where both people are, they can both feed off of each other, but in a good way, right? So I know that this was like a podcast that was, or an episode that was just kind of like all over the place, but you know, I think it just, stuff like this just like it, it drives me nuts. It really does. It drives me crazy that there's so many people that can't recognize what an actual good person is and they'll idolize the wrong ones. And for me, looking at those wrong ones where everyone thinks they're the right one, it's like, how do you not see that? It's baffling. But again, it's because people walk around with blinders on and basically it's like beer goggles on. It's like they're seeing the world through a drunk because they just don't want to deal with it. So I think if, if even if I could get through to like one person listening to this, that maybe they are on the wrong side, the wrong side of mentality, the wrong side of history. And maybe, maybe you've kind of realized that, you know, the first step into kind of making those changes is really, you know, owning it. Maybe there's someone in your family that you argued with a few years ago and maybe you tried to make them feel stupid, where's the apology? Just give them an apology. And that's how you start to mend those fences, so to speak. It doesn't take much, right? And then maybe this upcoming year, you do make those changes. Success is around the corner for so many fucking people, but it's them that gets in their own fucking way. I've seen it way too many times. Like I've, I've taught and mentored over 30,000 people that's a crazy amount of people. That's a fucking city, man. That's a small city. That's wild. And a lot of those people, they, they never made it. And it's not through my fault. It's because people will self-destruct. They'll self-sabotage. They're fearful. So anyways, I just want to get a little bit of this off my chest. Adios, guys.